Golf's no different from hockey. Requires talent, self-discipline. Golf requires goofy pants and a fat ass. You should talk to my neighbor, the accountant, probably a great golfer, huge ass. Welcome to Black Irish Podcast. Welcome to an all-new episode of Black Irish Podcast with myself, Brendan McCorkle, and Mike. We can see his beautiful face this week, Crawford. What's up, buddy? What up, my guy? You probably didn't want to see me last week anyway. Yeah, so you got your good. Just we're, for Men we're, gel we're, in, finally. So we got all those grays out. No, really. I didn't notice. My grays are missing. I just got a haircut. I don't, you know, let's stop that. Let's not get that narrative started. Let's get... Let's not get that narrative started. Yeah. There's no just for men. There's no just for men in here, buddy. Yeah, There's right. No just Whatever. I don't trust you at all with your hair. Are you still sh- shaving your chest? Well, I haven't shaved it in a while, but I'm going to continue to shave my chest. That will never stop. Yo, I bought a hundred dollar shaver for that. <laughs> for that shit. That shit. I'm just glad used, that you. Yeah, I'm glad <laughs> that you're keeping it up. That's great. I. I mean, speaking of hygiene, let's just start off with it real quick. And I called it. Hold up, and I called oh. it a shaver. <laughs> it's a razor, bro. I'm sorry. But I'm sorry to cut you off. Go ahead, my guy. Person. No, uh, no, it's all good. But I was when we were getting ready, we had some issues last week, technical issues that we had to just power through. And so I was getting on early, checking all the settings and stuff. And so I was just checking in with you, like, hey, you know, not to rush you, but you getting ready sooner or whatever. And you're like, you know, I'm in the bathroom, man. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and so you're a pretty free pooping fella. You know, as you've said many times on this podcast. So I didn't know texting etiquette. Like, I responded to you after I knew that you were doing your thing. But we also kind of have that type of relationship. But I don't know, like, what is that etiquette when you're on the toilet? And then it's confirmed with somebody. Like, what's what do you do? What do you mean? Ain't no etiquette. Depends on the situation. In this situation... You're fine to text. You know I'm going to text back because we're supposed to be getting together and doing our show. Yeah. It's just a random ass day. And I tell you, I'm on the shitter. And leave it at it, I'm on the shitter. And I'll text you what I'm done on the shitter, bro. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I thought what since you. Were... you to... <laughs> Hell, you want to carry a conversation with a person on the shitter. That's usually the <laughs> only time I text people. <laughs> it's the only time I reach out. <laughs> it's the only time I'm still, if I'm being honest. I mean, I understand that because I'm I'm often in motion too. But yeah, no, no, no. I'm I'm saying leave my shitter time alone. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> you don't need to carry on no conversation while I'm on the shitter. I'm a, I'm not of right mind in that moment anyway. <laughs> oh, see, I I'm way more of a free thinker in that period of time. Nah. Okay, so I when wow. You got, when you got stomach issues like me, sometimes. But that's why I figured I was like, he's on the shitter all the time. Like, he's got to be yeah. cool with having regular conversations. No, nah, because it's like sometimes it's painful, bro. Like, well, like, yeah, it's not every pain. time, but I just figured, you know, with you being so casual about going wherever, whenever, you'd also be casual about conversations <laughs> too. Do you talk to people so in like, the other stalls? Hell no. No, nah, you, you stay in your lane. We might fight after we get out. I'm not going to lie. Because this is all men's bathroom. So that means like we're two grown men. Ain't nothing that we need to be talking about while we're in the shitter. Like, don't even talk to me while we're using the urinals. Like, in the bathroom, this is not conversation time. You come in here, you do your do. We can talk at the sink when we're washing our hands, my dude. No, I said, what if somebody's it. trying to talk to you, stall the stall, and you're like, hey, man, leave me alone. He just won't leave you alone. Would you wait for him to be done with his diarrhea? To like check him? No, no. He How long would you wait? To me. I, he he's gonna know I'm not because I'm not saying a word. It's gonna be he's gonna be talking to himself. There'll be complete silence on the other side of the stall. Like I ain't responding to nobody who's talking to me while I'm pooping in the same bathroom. That's, what if he needs not, some toilet paper? Not cool. 
He's still going to need toilet paper, my friend. Oh. You think I'm gonna, do you? What if there's an extra I'm roll like in? on top of of the dispenser, and you got a full roll? I'm, let me tell you this, Brendan. Oh, and I love you. You dirty. I love you. You're a dirty dog. I love you. When we live together. Yeah. If you would have called me and told me to bring you toilet paper, the answer would have been no, bro. And I love you, and I lived in your house. Answer was gonna be nobody. I was sending Mick with the roll. <laughs> Ain't no way I'm coming. What to- if nobody? <laughs> it's just you and me home. You wouldn't roll it down the hall. No, I'm gonna go in my room and shut the door and tell you, <laughs> good. You can come out and get it. <laughs> and then you have to stay in there while I mop up all the doo doo that drops on the way. Come on, brother Are you going to drop doo-doo? Are you gonna if I have no doo-doo? toilet paper? I mean. Then you poop first, and then when it's time to go, when it's time to wipe, then you get up. You don't get up with an ass full of poop. Okay, but what? Okay, listen, brother man. <laughs> if yo, I'm, yo, yeah. I'm excavating my bowels, okay? Who knows what the consistency is any given day, okay? You take a pick. Exactly. But whichever one is most exactly. fun for you right now. Now I'm done. I'm like, oh, no. No TP. Mike. Dude. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> Actually, I know you. And now that I run it back in my head, it's been a minute since we lived together. Now that I remember, you would ignore me, <laughs> act like you were going to sleep and go in your room and go to bed and act like you never heard me and leave me there. I would definitely leave you there. <laughs> oh, you're, oh, you're disgusting. Okay, so what? so if it's you, what are you saying? What if I say it depends on so that all depends on where I'm at, who I'm living with. What, like you that, we're we're living together and you go down the hall. Like, hang on, hang on, let me set it up for you. Go you go you go in the hall, you're like bing bang boom, you don't even realize because you were outside smoking or something like that. You go in high and don't realize, oh crap, the last time I meant to go out and get TP and come back in, I don't have any. And nobody's home. What do you do? But you know that so, they're out in the like the closet in the hallway. You said no one's home at yeah, all? No one's home. Just you. Oh, I I finished my poop and then I walk and get TP. Ew. What if it's diarrhea like you usually have? I don't care. Ain't nothing dripping out my butt. Like it comes all out. Ain't like no water. Why wouldn't you drip- just jump in the shower, you disgusting Neanderthal? Cause are you about to jump in the shower and wipe your and clean your and clean your ass with a cloth, oh. like wiping your ass with? By cloth? the way, only black people still yeah. use washcloths. I don't know if you know this. <laughs> I guess, I guess, but I still use a washcloth. Two separate that and one children. For my body, one for my face, but I'm wiping my ass first, and then I'm hopping right in the shower. Because you when don't I shit at home. I always wash my ass afterwards anyway. But I'm definitely gotta wipe my ass, bro. But you're going to go walk down the hall first? Yes, if I'm home alone, I'm walking down the hall. You don't just jump in the shower and rinse off real quick? No, 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 no. This has already been done. Like, this is done before. I've done this before. (laughs) But there's no toilet paper. I get up and I walk to the toilet paper and I walk to the bathroom and get the toilet paper. And then I go back to the bathroom and wipe my ass. And then I get in the shower. What you talking about? I ain't getting in the shower with the mud butt, bro. No, no, no. That's disgusting. Okay. Well, I mean, okay. Let me ask you. Let me say something here. Uh, just before we started recording, I was like, I jumped at a shower and I was drying off, and I realized that my towel smelled like corn chips for some reason. <laughs> and I, now I'm just trying to figure out what that says about me as a person. I don't know. My my towel smells like straight weed, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's like it's like I'm grabbing it and I'd be like, bro, I'm about to get high off this shit. Like roll it up and smoke it, baby. Cause it comes through the vents and where my towel is that I keep it is like pretty much over a vent hanging on the back of my oh that thing smells like pff, straight like you, you know you can put it. your towel somewhere else. I could, but I don't have a problem with this smell like we like <laughs> doesn't bother me. Ain't like I'm going to drive the weed onto my skin, no. It is going to smell like that, that though. But that's what I was saying. Like, maybe I'm rubbing myself down with corn chip smell. You think your body's going to smell like that because you dry off? For sure. Whatever stinks on the towel, it it resonates on your body a little. Like, if if it's funky, 
Like, okay, let me ask you this. We're getting into weird territory again. How often do you wash your shower towel? Oh, I change it daily. I don't, One yeah, time I don't use? What if you take yes. multiple showers in a day? Then it's going to be two All new towels. towels. In a day. Yeah. <laughs> Cause, because I throw them on the floor when I'm done to my feet to be on them when I'm putting on my lotion and shit. So I ain't putting that back around my body. Like, that's that's dirty clothes pile. Well, yeah. What if, you know, you have the option of not throwing it down? Yeah, but it's just habit. Man. Look, I got a habit now. I'm 39, Brendan. I'm not 19. Like, I'm saying this is a habit. Okay, now. what did it used to be? What, what? I, I'm interested to know what the rule used to be or what it used to be in your house. Was it still just one? Mean? Was it always like that for your whole life? Growing up in the projects, it was whatever. Clever. I might not even shower some days. Like, yeah. yeah like, dude, now, now we're entering different territory. You're but that's what I'm then. asking. Yeah, was the was the yeah, towel yeah. usage more? Not, because what? <laughs> let me let me say it this way: towel, towel usage was optional, man. Okay, <laughs> like, what? Because I'm when I was growing clothes, up, I just took off that's on the ground, bro. Like, <laughs> <what>? <laughs> when I was growing up, my, we were my out, sweatpants inside out and once a week. Once a week was really? yeah, it was like we washed towels on the weekends once a week. You know, because well, it's expensive no to wash clothes. Yeah, see, not where I'm from. I'm from. I was. I grew up in the project. We didn't have electric. You thought we had electric? We had no electric, no water. It's like free. Like living in the projects in public housing is free. You have no rent. <laughs> they give you food stamps for food. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like I gotta say, we had no rent, but it's a very low rent. They give you food stamps for food. You know what I mean? Like you ain't paying no utility bill. Yeah, you still wash your clothes. Yes, but that's not expensive. I don't have no water bill, no electric bill. Only thing expensive is some what I need. But that's what I'm saying. Habit, there, that, we have a weird habit, dichotomy we with towels, <laughs> and you oh, wouldn't and habit, expect it. No, we can wash clothes at free will at my house, but it wasn't always detergent. So sometimes yeah. that was that was palm olive in there. But you oh know, yeah, yeah, what? yeah. Dish soap has <laughs> gone in. Dawn has been hey, in bro. the washing machine. Hey, bro, and so I'm has saying, Cascade, by the way. <laughs> I've had a brother wash. People who watch this and know my brothers is going to be like, oh, shit, which brother? But I've had a brother wash clothes with, like, shampoo, bro. Like, just dump, dump the body wash in there. Like, hey, listen, dude. Okay. This had a hair <laughs> has had a bar of soap in it many a day growing up because we didn't have shampoo. That's, no, that's like, the breaks. And, and that's the thing. We ain't have nothing else, but we had shampoo because who the hell washed their hair at my house? <laughs> right. <laughs> the one thing you don't my really mom, need that much? <laughs> my mom, maybe. Like, four boys growing up, yeah. Ain't no hair getting washed in here. So if it wasn't no dish detergent or, or, dink, or sink soap, straight shampoo in the wash machine, bro. I've seen it all. Like, it's been some wild times at my house in the project. Yeah. Shout out to my brothers who are doing okay for themselves now. No more project life. Shout out to my mom for helping us make us make it out. I know this was like a sentimental moment I went into, but yeah, man, Good. I don't have to live that life no more. But boy, I tell you, Brendan, it was some rough days. Oh yeah, I mean, I, it, mine definitely weren't as rough as yours, but they, were, you know. <clears throat> They were rough adjacent. It's kind of like being Irish versus black. It's like we get like side racism. It's not like it's not straight on like y'all, but it's definitely like we get a little bit. It's like white people make fun of us. We're like, what the fuck, dude? Why? Stop it. We were down in the dirt helping too, doing shit we didn't want to do. You guys were throwing shit at us when we got here. Not cool. What the fuck, man? And not to be trying to take all the credit. Shout out to you, man, for making it from Palmdale to the hills, man. The hills of wherever the hill. I live. In the valley. The I valley, just... the hills. The hills, the valley, the hills of Van Nuys or wherever. Yeah. Van Nuys adjacent. I, 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 I'm not giving that much info to where you live. We don't need to get I that do comedy in Van Nuys. So, I, you know, that's kind of where I okay. hang. That's the okay. that's the judgment night scenario that I go to every Sunday night. Shout out to Liquid True. Zoo. Uh, yeah, I love man, that shout out to you, man, for, for making it out of, out too, man. Like, All right. Like it was even for you. So making so. it out, we were both listening to certain uh, certain types of music back in the day. Uh, when we were growing up poor as shit. But <laughs> being that it's episode 112, I wanted to see if I could throw some 
boy group lyrics at you and see if you could name the tune and see what it sounds like. So, on top, underneath, on side of you, better yet, baby. That's, right I next to you. Next you already <laughs> said it. We figured I would just make sure you understood what the game was going to be by giving you a softball, okay? These should all be, you know, pretty easy to you. Do. But I don't know. That's why it's fun. <laughs> you said pretty easy. Are you judging me, Brendan? Are you trying yeah. to tell me what type right. of music I would listen to? I love the taste of whipped cream. Spread it on. Inside of you? Don't be mean. Oh, I don't know that song. You don't know that song. That's free. Keep from going. This Silk. Thing. Oh. Yeah. See that I figured that was gonna be an easier song for you, and so I, I went with a deeper cut of a lyric. Gotcha. So I'm gonna okay. I, this is like a, when you jump on the elliptical machine and you're like, okay, let's do the uh program today, and you're doing hills like we did an easy one, now we do a hard one, and then we're gonna easy and hard, you know? <laughs> kind of like All these right. songs make you easy and hard, hard. Okay. Pause. Pause. <laughs> Makes yeah. girls easy and guys hard. Come on. It's yeah, right we're, there. we're two men, so we shouldn't be talking about men getting hard. What? There's but women listening to this. Shout out to my mom. <laughs> Whoa! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> she does. What? Yo, you shouldn't have mixed those two together, though. That was a bad time to say shout out to your mom. That's why it's like, the most <laughs> fun. <laughs> When she hears this, she's got to laugh her balls it, off. It wasn't me. It wasn't me, Mom. It was Brendan. Hey, Shaggy is not on this list. I said boy groups, okay? Not solo artists. <laughs> Shout out to Shaggy, bro. Hey, Mr. Boombastic is a banger. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> No, it wasn't me as a banger, too. That yeah, it is. You can't, but as a guy, you can never admit that you like that song because the chicks around you would be fucking furious. But it's so good. So good. All right. Am I your fire? Your one desire. I know the song. I don't know who. I, I don't know the name of it. I know. My I don't know. I know the song. I know the song. I don't know who's. Okay, the name let me let me try and help you out here. Am I your fire? I know the, no. Your okay, so it's uh, is it in single boy? Oh, yeah, Ninety-eight degrees, right? When I say that. I wanted that. I told you I know the song. I don't know who sings it. That's the name of the song? I wanted that one? Yes, it is. Oh, okay. So that's the name of the song, but I have no clue which one of those three boys that's that the sing it. I just named, boys. Okay, I just named all three of them. And it's one. it was one more around our time that was pretty decent. It was 98 Degrees. Well, let's see if we keep three. going here. Let's see if you can figure it out. Oh. Uh, Should have put Papa Roach. <laughs> That would be a curveball. Uh, all right. You're not doing as well as I thought you would. I thought that was a softball and you fucking. I knew that song. I just didn't know the name, bro. It's been a long time. I mean, come I on. That was the first big bang. Yeah, but I smoke a lot, bro. Whatever, bro. All right. Uh, let's see if you get this one. This one's a little tougher, so I'm, I'm skeptical. Uh, every man wants a woman. That ain't good for just laying on her back. I'll give you a hint. It's a girl group. Hold up. I know. I know the song. I already know this. It's Superwoman the song. I'm trying to say who who um who sings it. Um Don't touch your computer, you rat bastard. My hands are here, bro. <laughs> oh man, you're jerking here. off. I don't know. It just looked like there was a action. I'm not, I'm asking, is it escape or SWV? Escape, you got it. Good job. I don't but it's know just these, kicking I it is the song. Know. It's not. Oh, Superwoman. just kicking it. That's too long. Yeah, you're right. Well, I know. I did. You're right. That's the, that's, thing. That's, that's the name of the song. <laughs> hey, good job. See and uh, redemption. Right back. Okay. Let's see. We got two more. I don't want to be your fool. 
in this game for two. Don't know. <laughs> so I'm leaving you behind. No clue. The Stop. boy JT was in this band, it group, whatever we call this thing. And sync. Yes. And sync. What song is that? It's the bird chirp dance. Bye bye uh, bye. Oh. Uh, I thought I you would have got that one that because much. you love JT and his swinging no, hips. I, no, no. No, straight up, straight up. I used to love Ed Sync as a band. I'm not even. I know. Like, I had, That's why I was I very confused. I thought that was another softball. No, 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 but I didn't know a lot of lyrics to their songs. I just knew like the choruses. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna know. lie. The reason why I put that as a softball was because it doesn't have verses. It only has <laughs> chorus and bridge and chorus and bridge. They just sing the same thing three times <laughs> each. So it was the I most think... simple song. <laughs> But I think the reason why I love it sing so much was because of one song, and I just went back and listened to other stuff. What's I the think song? Gone is like Gone. I, okay. Like Gone is a great song. I don't even know Literally. how that goes. What? I don't even know that. Song. You don't know how Gone goes. I'm not about to sing on here. If that's what you thought you were going to coerce me to do. No, I was kind of <laughs> like, hoping, but I wasn't like trying to trick you. Um, damn. Why can't I think of the lyrics to Gone right now, dog? I smoke. It's really, it's really hard to just go off a, like no tone, no melody, no nothing like that. Like it's, it's, it's a yeah. tough one, but you know, these things are pretty. Okay, let's see if you could get the last one. This one is like, you're either gonna really know it or you're gonna be like, eh, I don't know. Why do I seek something to set my mind free? I can pull up more lyrics to that one if you want. Yeah, go a little bit past that. Okay. Uh, why do I see? Because curiosity is bugging the hell out of me. Damn. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. Baby. I'm, the song is familiar, but I can't think of the name. Hold up, hold up. Is it come and talk to me? Yes, it is. Jodeci. <laughs> Very good. No clue who sung it. Uh, yeah, I, I knew. I said, hey, that was yeah. uh, you pulled the song, so I was giving you the assist with the uh, with the artist because that and was a good pull. Is- I have all these songs currently on my iPhone yeah. and in my in my playlist that I listen to on a regular basis. When you jerk off still or can't what? Remember the, no, no, no. In the shower, but on a regular basis. <laughs> well, the, the, so kind of. I Sometimes. <laughs> I mean, I don't jerk. I don't, who jerks off in the shower, bro? What? Oh, God. We're getting deep on this episode. What? <laughs> like, that's what you did when you were a kid, when you had to hide. I'm 39 years old. If I want to jerk off, I'm just going to jerk the fuck off. Do that shit in the basement, in my bedroom, anything where I please. Who the hell going to stop me? I ain't hiding from nobody at What's this point. your cleanup situation, <laughs> you savage? Clean up situation? I clean up with any damn thing. You're going to get washed anyway. Who am I? <laughs> Where do you, okay, where do you go? Huh? Man, I'll take a t-shirt off my back and throw that shit in the trash when I'm done. Like, I don't care about that shit at this point, bro. I'm, I'm over okay, my so you're t-shirt. just wearing jizzed out clothes all day. Just jizz on no, no, your no. threads. If, if there's a t-shirt, I throw it in the trash. Like, I buy new packs of t-shirts every other week. Like, who oh, the hell man, keeps I t-shirts? That are- I have t-shirts that are eight years old. Oh, hell no. This shit's got color under the armpits and all that. Man, you know, but <laughs> yeah, okay. Can't wear those because sometimes I, I mean, I can't wear them often. I don't I don't keep that many because I wear my t-shirt sometimes outside and I'd hate to be seen outside with the yellow armpits and shit. Like, they're not always yeah. on the shirt. Some days in the middle of the summer here, it's hot. I might just not put on the shirt over top and go roll with, you know what I'm saying, roll with that in the tank top. So there, I got to have nice under shirts. So I keep Fresh packs. Fresh so, packs. Yeah. 
Oh, that and fresh packs of undershirts, fresh packs of tank tops, man. You got to keep those fresh. They got to be crispy white. And bleach don't do it no more. And I don't really use bleach at the house for real. So you don't want to accidentally that. Sammy Sosa your hand. <laughs> yeah, I'm an OxyClean guy at this point. That's a free advertisement for OxyClean, but so what? Yeah, yeah I think OxyClean they're good. Guy. I think they're okay. <laughs> but not the not the regular blue oxyclean. Like if you want the real, you want your whites to get a little bit cleaner. The the sign on the oxyclean says it's forty percent stronger than bleach. That's a damn lie. But it does get your whites white. Nothing's gonna get it back white once you sweat in it. But it'll get you. It'll get you white. Shout out to them for that. Nothing's gonna get it clean after you jizz in it. Apparently, <laughs> no, that's trash. <laughs> you, you have to catch. In a t-shirt or tank top, go ahead and throw that in the trash, buddy. But again, I don't know. What about, you never jizz in a sock? I'm not you. No, hell no. You know, I used to hear those stories about jizzing in a sock. I'm like, what are you just like, the whole time you got the sock on your junk? No! Oh, That's psycho shit. You put it on, you got to time it to where it's like, you know, you feel like it's going. (laughs) And then you are got, you a, and then you, you got a motion for YouTube. Like you know, this goes on YouTube too, and you're always yeah. like giving, like giving a whole hand motion. <laughs> That's not how I do it. That would hurt. But yeah, just right as you're about to go, then you got to like slip it on, and then get back <laughs> into it because you don't want to. Here's the thing: for two reasons, you got to do it inside out. For two reasons. Number one. I wash my socks and rewear them. So I don't want it on the inside that my foot touches. It could be in between the shoe and the sock, yeah, which is maybe That's why weird. my shoes smell. I don't know. Number two is because it's softer. You need the softer part so you don't sandpaper your dick with the inside of your socks because they're a little the more rigid. The inside of the sock might be a little bit softer because that's what, like, the cotton balls and shit are. It's like you might be... Yeah, but after you wash it once or twice, you know, the fabric gets a little worn. And it's like, (laughs) that's where all the wear and tear is. Because it's all... In the shoe, it's all slippity slide. You know, it's minimal friction. But your foot, your stank-ass foot in there... I'm just saying, it's just advice for the kids. You should have trashed them. But it's I know what I should have done, but I'm trash kind of. So it's, you know, <laughs> part for the course. We also have a, the amount of time that we jerk ourselves is a lot different between me and you. So you might be thinking I only about use a sock if I'm laying it. down in bed because I'm like, I'm not going to jizz on myself. That's disgusting. I'm not 12 anymore. But, I almost breached the subject that I don't want to, that I'm not going to breach because I hope that you know, you, yeah, you know what the answer probably is. So just if you don't want everybody else to know, then you can keep it to yourself. If you do, then I don't care. I'm an open book. No, I'm not good. To, yes, I'm I've not, tried. I'm not and good succeeded. <laughs> Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Shout out to my man Brent, though, bro. Shout out to you, Brent. It was like Shout the perfect tipping point in my life when I was like 16. I was just, you know, everything hit the right thing. And, you know, hey, there's yo, a time yo, and a place yo, for bro. everything. And I just happened to see my opportunity. <laughs> oh, Dude, you know, hey. I thought I oh, had oh, another subject. Uh, yes, a Go different ahead. subject is uh, I went to the Genesis Golf Invitational this past week. Uh-huh. Well, before you get into that, I had a different subject. Oh, question. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, don't you need to call me out or something? I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna save that for a little bit, but it's oh, not shit. it's serious. Okay, it's, it's kind of it's kind of serious, but not that serious. Okay, but um, the music that's played at the beginning of the podcast that I really can't hear inside information podcast. I have no clue what this song is, but I'm about to find out yes. what the hell is it. I was thinking that at the end of the show today, I was like, I was trying to bow my head to it. Then I realized I can't really make this shit out. I don't even know what it is. Let me stop trying and just, I'd, you also me. don't watch our podcast either, because if you did, you would number one, hear the song in the beginning. Number two, see that I have our animated bodies and our logo our our secondary logo just the b and the i and it kind of pumps to the music in the beginning and it covers our faces while i'm doing our last second you know adjustments before we jump in so nobody sees you anyway 
but it was something that I purchased after we were getting this thing going and I was proofing stuff with you. I was proofing the logo. I was proofing the, yeah, the but song. that's when I could hear it. I can't hear right. it now. So that's what I'm saying. It's the what same thing. Is... It's something that oh, somebody okay. made that I purchased that would be only ours because that's how I wanted to do it. So that's why in the very beginning and just to confirm what you already said about smoking a lot of weed, you've asked me this on the podcast before too, a couple of times. <laughs> I'm and, sure, and I can't wait for the next one. <laughs> and and now that we're two Which is years fine. in, why don't we? Why don't we make our own song? Oh, why are you doing that? <laughs> what? We're cool enough. We're cool enough. To, I mean, uh, we kind of need better equipment just to even get this thing better. Thanks for calling yeah, look, ourselves can... out. But you mean, man, we can we can actually go to the studio and like come down with like four bars a piece. So I'm on a track. Listen, dude, I know if I'm doing a it song, up. it's not going to be just four bars. It's just for the podcast. If you want to become a, a rapper in your spare time, I'm not trying to become want. a rapper. You're trying to make me become a rapper. And I'm just saying, if you're forcing me into it, here's my turn. I said, I said a song. You don't even have to be a rapper. You can be singing like Billy Vanilli if you choose. No. That's for you, buddy. Listen, man, what kind of faith is that in a partner? <laughs> I say if you so choose. Okay. I never said Listen, I, have faith I know you. you're not a person that does their homework. Otherwise, I'd challenge you to write four bars versus me, and we go bars for bars. I listen to battle rap all day. You don't want to like battle me. Yeah, but you would time. actually have to like do it. What does that mean? I do. I'll, I I can do it. I can write four bars for the for the show, bro. Do you want to oh, do you it? Four, you versus four me? Four bars against you? Yeah. Bro, you don't want me to write four bars against you. Yeah. Because you're absolutely nasty, man. You just told the whole world that you're like poop all the time and jerk exactly. off. You, can't, you can't eight mile me, little rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Black rabbit, whatever. <laughs> what What is your, what's your rap name anyway? I don't have no damn rap name. I know, I but you have to, if this. you're going to come spit at me, you better come with one. Otherwise, whoa, I'll whoa, eviscerate whoa, whoa, you. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> my rap name is gonna be <clears throat> I don't know exactly no oh bars. you're gonna kill me cause you watch battle rap and you can freestyle you can't even freestyle a name come on man Mike Bars that's what my name is gonna be Mike Bars okay if I beat you you gotta change it to Mike Balls no that's, that's <laughs> no, no it don't matter Get it? I'm never gonna Mike use it Mike Balls can, my balls you can you can call it whatever you want because I'm never going to use the rap name again. I don't rap. I sing. Look like at you're already kids. backing yourself out because you know I'm mm. going to just annihilate you no, verbally. No no, 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 no. I'm just saying that because I really don't rap. I will still annihilate you. I don't rap. either. Yet my confidence is sky high against you. Number one, I don't think uh, you're going to do your homework. I think it's going to be a last like, minute. I sing like Tevin Campbell, man. <laughs> Come with a little more Teddy Pendergrass when you come at me. <laughs> <laughs> Soothe me you know into seduction saying? before you murder me. Uh, really? Do you want to do this? Bro, if you want to do this, we can do it. I can. I definitely have, you know what I'm saying, I can give you some bars, bro. I don't know. Your reluctancy makes me feel like it's not going to be as good as it could have been. We'll see. Maybe we'll maybe we'll do that as a as a punishment or something if we have to do something else because that one we can just do it in a week, no big deal. Is you got to get f fucking blasted on, and the other person gets four bars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Four oh, bars. all right. So I went to the Genesis Invitational. I went to go see. One of Tiger's last stands, which is funny because I also, uh, I was lucky enough to go. My dad was nice enough to give me a ticket. And um, I, I've been to this golf tournament many times in the last decade. It was just kind of a thing. And I've always avoided Tiger because the crowd was always with Tiger. And I'm like, I could literally go see... Anything else I want to see, as long as I avoid the hole before, the hole he's on, and the hole after, I'm good. So I just always skip Tiger, and I'm like, all right, this is this man's last rounds. 
he's going out. I should probably make an effort to go see him. This is kind of his tournament. You know, he's coming back. He's going to, you know, do whatever. His so, last like, rounds, he'll be around for a while. He's going to do like No, Jack, I know, man. but he'll I'm saying this is kind of like his. Yeah. He's probably got maybe two or three more years that he's going to be doing this, and I don't know that I'm. He's gonna play the Genesis Invitational ever again necessarily. He might just stick to the majors. That's the, that's the one tournament that he's gonna play every year. So you're lucky. Maybe. You're lucky to have him come to your. But maybe city I don't go year. every year. You know what I mean? Maybe oh. he doesn't make the cut and I go on the weekend. Who knows? <laughs> so I went on a Saturday just so I was like, I got I got to go see him once and like actually you know watch maybe the greatest of all time. Now it makes thing. sense why he why he sucked on Saturday. I wasn't there Saturday. I was there Friday, so you can suck my you said, balls. You said you went on Saturday. So. No, I said if I go on a Saturday, because the cut is between Friday and Saturday usually. Oh. So when they cut half the field, if he doesn't make it because he has a bad round, then he's not going to be there on the weekend. That's what I was referencing. But I got down there early, and there's you have to park a ways away, and then they shuttle you up to, you know, this golf course is in the middle of these multi-million dollar homes. And there's like, <laughs> it's right off of Sunset Boulevard, which is like the main one street coming in and out of there. And it's just kind of a nightmare. So they got to ride a shuttle. I time this thing beautifully to where I like park, walk up. And as I'm getting on the shuttle and m- mind you, it's like the bus from speed. It's that's the shuttle double doors, the whole nine. So I, I go to get on, and the guy's like, uh, okay, I think we're full. You're good. So I walk on after they already packed everybody in like sardines. I get the last spot right up by the yellow line and the bus driver. I'm like, right on. Didn't have to wait or nothing. This is rad. And then not 30 seconds into the ride, you just hear people groaning. Just like, uh, uh, like, really? Really? And it's like, what the hell is going on? And it's like right in the middle of the bus. (laughs) And then somebody is just like, dude, somebody busted ass hard. And then three seconds later, this waft comes up and it's like, oh, man, that's nasty. So somebody busted ass on this shuttle bus full of maybe, I don't know, 100 people. And... It got to the point where people were, like, verbally upset (laughs) and, like, didn't know what to do. And the bus driver's like, you guys can open a window and nobody's moving or doing anything. So it got to the point where it was so bad, the bus driver, while we're driving up San Vicente Boulevard, these million-dollar homes, like, opens the front door to let the fart out of the bus. So we're just driving up San Vicente with the front door to the bus open like speed. Hoping nobody jumps out because somebody dropped a bomb. It was <laughs> so I was laughing hysterically. Other people had tears because of the gas. I was laughing so hard. I was crying. <laughs> when people get so upset about something, they like just whatever, man. It just happened. And I know you're that kind of a guy where you just let them rip when you've got them. Yeah, but my farts don't stink anymore. Yeah. Uh, Well, this one did. It was a reaper. (laughs) And a reeker. So that was fun. And then literally, it was like, I couldn't get away from this type of stuff. So it's like, literally, I get in pretty smooth, easy. I'm walking up past, I think it's the second hole. And I'm going to the right to go walk over to where I know I want to go for the day. Or at least the first part. And I see Justin Rose, who is somebody I bet on in this tournament. Walking out of the uh, little encampment of porta potties, like he hit his shot, went in, did his business, and then came on out. And I, you know, like he stared me down basically as he walked out because I was just the first person he made eye contact with, and it was kind of like a "we both know what just happened" situation. And he felt obligated to head nod me first, <laughs> so I just head nodded him back and was like, "Oh, well, that bet's gone. That was not a good sign." <laughs> <laughs> and that yes, he did not even make the cut. <clears throat> he probably had some issues. On on the second hole you had to use the bathroom. That's not a good Definitely. sign that your day is going to go well. Like you just came out of go. the clubhouse. Got to go when you got to go. I know, but that <laughs> I knew I was losing my bet. 
Oh, which also, li- I mean, oh. I'm betting. I lost in a somewhat heartbreaking fashion. I had the leader for the first two days, Max Homa, and he had given up, like, in the last two days, he gave up the lead multiple times when he had multiple stroke leads. And it's like, you were the leader the first two days. It's not like you came out of nowhere. It's like you were running this course, and then somebody overtook you, and it's like he had a breakdown on the last three holes, both Saturday and Sunday. It's like when you need to step up the most, this guy crumbled. He was a 22 to one shot. And I'm just like, what is, why, why? Like even on, I think it was hole 14 or 15 on the last day. He's got like four or five holes to go. He's up by one stroke. And then he lost by two. (laughs) He gave up three strokes in the last four holes. And not for nothing, the other dude wasn't like on fire. He was miss hitting shots and like making saves and getting, you know. I'm just like, what? What's your heart beating for? You scared? I was standing next to somebody that at one point somebody, somebody missed a putt. And he's like, this ain't no hobby, kid. I'm like, really? You're a grown man telling a professional golfer who just missed like an 18-foot putt? Not an easy putt. Like, yeah. You know, you got to try harder if you're going to be good here. You're like, the fuck? You're standing on grass watching other people play golf, you dick. Like, <laughs> what the fans do? Yeah, but that was like, he said it loud enough to where maybe the guy heard it, but maybe it was just the people around him. Like, Okay. <laughs> You were standing there by yourself. It's not like he said it to his buddy. He just said it out loud. Can, like, that's golf trash talk. I'm just like, oh, my gosh. No, that's just what fans do, man. Fans feel like they can say anything. You know, fans be like, you're garbage to dudes that are in the NBA. Like, this dude's in the NBA, but we as fans, we call them garbage all the time. Yeah, Whatever. well, in comparison to other people. But, but he wasn't comparing him to anybody else. He was just like, you're, you're an amateur golfer. <laughs> it's like actually he's not he's a pro that's why he has his card they have cards yeah. to, to make it official they, they definitely have cards to make it official buddy so yeah dude dude was tripping i just went i went straight to the 14th hole because tiger was starting on 10 so i was just like let me just go post up by myself for a little bit so i just went over smoked my little jay Hanging out. That's the thing about golf. It's like the guys that were working there smoking cigarettes and stuff. It's like it's kind of the one place you can openly smoke cigars and drink and smoke cigarettes. Stuff like you try not to do it around people, but I was around nobody because I was like, "Uh, let me just go get a spot on the 14th green. It's right next to the 15th tee box. I'll get the primetime spot. I can be wherever I want. And all I got to do is wait 30 minutes for group one to come through and he's in like group four. So then I still get some action within 30 minutes. So I just slapped in my AirPods and listened to some music and got ready for the day. It was quite beautiful. (laughs) And then what I did just to what, so I watched tiger and then tigers coming off of, you know, I think he had a par or a bogey on the hole before. And it's a, par three that he knows real well he knows the whole course real well but this particular hole he pretty much owns and he sticks it you know a couple feet from the hole just bang like tiger still has magic flashes of magic in him all over the place which is what like you just never know what this guy he's got the skills what you know is his his son's about to take over the tour and you kick tiger well, yeah, but there's going to be a transition period to where he's just, he always wants a Woods to be winning. So it's just like as he transitions out, is after like year two, it's when his boy comes in. It's like, okay, now we just continue to take over golf, which is fine. He did so much good for golf when he came in. It's like he made it exciting. He made VJ Singh relevant for crying out loud. 
<laughs> hey yo, VJ Singh has not been relevant since Tiger left either. That's a good point. VJ Singh just like disappeared, bro. I'm telling you. <laughs> well, he was on steroids and shit. Because <laughs> he, he was trying to compete with Tiger. This old yeah, man, that was this chubby yeah, man that was really good at golf and precision shots, was trying to keep up with Tiger. <laughs> so he started like getting jacked and losing weight. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Tiger kind of had to apologize, which I think is bullshit, by the way, for giving Justin Thomas a tampon for not hitting the ball very hard. On you know, he outdrove him by like thirty some odd yards or something. So he slipped. Well, at least he only this. Well, at least all he had to do was get an apology. The NBA dude who said no homo got fined forty grand. <laughs> yeah, forty grand. Well, see, and he's yeah. not. That he's was in like that uh, forty grand is a pretty probably pretty chunk of change for him. Yeah, it is. But here's the deal: he said that in a public forum where he was being well, interviewed. Live and stuff. interview. <laughs> and yeah, like that's not very smart. Chris, Tiger literally like it slips time, it to though. him as a personal joke, which I think it should have been like, oh, it's like that's that's a silly thing, whatever. What do you want to hand? Okay, if that's offensive to women, then do you want him to hand him a dildo on the course? Is that better for the kiddos to see? Come on, yeah. leave it be. It's just it's a little bit of fun. Or he could drop his pants at the next tee. Like, what do you want? But it's Tiger Woods. It's Tiger Woods, let it be. He was just testing all this stuff out for the majors, which was nice because it looks <laughs> like he's gonna figure out how to, you know, pick and choose his tournaments and. It should be exciting when he plays because I think he'll be very calculated about when he does. So, it was nice. And then I skipped ahead to the 18th hole to see him finish because it's like, he's on 15, let me jump to the end. Let me get a good spot at the green. And I'm there and then there's this dad walks up and there's a like four kids in front with two sets of parents. And... That it's me, and it's like, okay, we got this little bubble around these kids, and they don't know me and don't know that I'm a dad, but I'm like, I know what I would, like, we got this nice little thing, like, nobody else needs to be in here, there's no more room for anybody else, so we'll just kind of make this little thing. It's He's Tiger Woods, bro. I know, but I'm saying that we're already, it's not like we're like, hey, we, we have lawn chairs out here, I'm saying we're all within a, a six foot radius here, like, there's like nine of us. And I'm just like kind of. Somebody else wants to get in to see Tiger. You think they're going to try to squeeze that way? That's what happened. Was there was this little lady that looked like an Ewok and just kind of like squeezing through, like bumps me and goes under my arm. And I'm like, okay, what? I like, I don't care. And she's standing behind the kids, which is, you know, there's like a three foot kid, then like a four foot kid, and then like this four foot lady who is, you know, 82 years old. And it's like, that's the order it should be. Fine. She went, you know, nudge me out of the way. I'm cool with that. Be in here. Then she starts nudging the kid at, kids out of the way. <laughs> and it's like, whoa. I didn't say anything because I'm just like, hey, this, I'm not my kids. And then the dad next to me is just kind of like, excuse me. Like, they're stand. Excuse me. Like, you're touching my kids. I'm like, okay. Like, I'm not getting involved here, but I'm interested to see what happens. <laughs> and then this... I get it. She's a very old little Asian lady, and she just wanted to see Tiger Woods, man. And she's just like, got no, her, sorry, got sorry her visor say, that sticks still... out like three feet, and is just like, I'm getting in, I'm getting in, throwing elbows at kids, and finally, like, she turned around, and then she's like, that spot, like, basically looked up, like, I would have been here, but that spot wasn't that great anyway. And then she like wiggled her way back out and went somewhere else. I was like, that lady is gonna get the best view in the house. Yeah, they feel obligated. I mean, they feel like somebody owes them something. I had to deal with them in different in different interactions. And sorry to say, a lot of them feel like somebody owes them something. So, yeah, she was definitely going to go where she wanted. Yeah, I was just glad she left because that was kind of weird with her throwing bows to the kids. But I was like, good. At least I don't have to worry about that. Like this weird interaction continuing. It just went away. That was nice. But then, yeah, so Max Homa just completely blows this whole thing i was just like all right that's enough and then i went home and i ate an entire box of c's candy for the second time in two days because don't know what that is but you don't know what c's candy is 
No. Okay, do you know what Russell Stover's is? Have I you ever seen a box of candy? I know what Russell Stover's is. I don't know what C's candy is. Okay, it's it's a <laughs> different version of that. Same size box, same amount of chocolate. I housed one of those after Max Homa just bit the big ass. Is that a lot of candy? I don't know what the hell. Who? Who don't know who the fuck is I'm Max talking Homa? about the candy consumption. Is that a lot for one sitting? Depends. Did you have like a heart? Did you have the big box, little box? Like Russell Stover's comes in multiple sizes. I friend. had like the medium box with like... I don't know. 20, that's just, 20 that's disgusting to eat that much chocolate, bro. Well, that's why I was asking. I need a sounding board for this. But I had a glass of milk with it. But also, I don't drink chocolate. You had chocolate and milk? Oh, my God. Chocolate and yeah, Listen, dude, you don't get it milk because of your thing, milk. but chocolate and milk go really well together. It breaks it up the perfect way. It's it's cookies and cream. It's just man. a whole bunch of dairy products, which is the, literally the worst thing on your stomach. Yeah, but it tastes delicious. Yeah, but your stomach is probably Ugh. fucked for the next two days. Well, I don't know, Mike, because actually last night I ate a half gallon of ice cream. So, <laughs> yeah, Yo, you love it's you hard some to dairy tell. products. I'll give, I'll give you that. I mean, they're delicious. I know a half gallon's a lot, but it's not. I mean, once I get started, I could eat. I can eat a lot if it's decent. Wait, like you tell us when you eat like abundance of bullshit food. Do you eat regular food in this abundance? Like, do you eat like an abundance of Brussels sprouts? Is um, there like some, some pastrami some, around here somewhere? Oh, pastrami is not good for you. I will house a pastrami. I mean, that's Doesn't fucking real food, though. It ain't ice cream or candy. Yeah, or milk. Well, here's the thing: if I'm not eating, if I eat garbage, I'm like, I'm already eating garbage. Let's go for it. But if I'm not eating garbage, then I'm like, okay, eat until you're not hungry anymore, and then don't eat. <laughs> Clearly, that's the backwards ass way to think about it. But okay, buddy. I know, but it's that's <laughs> just the <laughs> way I do you. things. It's you know the indulgence is it fun. It works for you, my guy. It does. Who am I and do? guess what? I followed it up with a bowl of cereal because I'm crazy <laughs> like that shit. Oh man! All right, so that is okay. Well, thanks for uh, checking me on that. I guess I'll I'll need to reevaluate <laughs> my consumption of garbage. Maybe not go so hard in the paint. No, but you should reevaluate how you treat your friends. That's what you should do. So, other day I'm scrolling Instagram. I come across your page. I see what's on your IG story. And I see these birthday shout outs to random motherfuckers in your life that I don't know. I don't know if you know them or not. You might. They might be good friends of yours. I'm not going to put their names out because I don't want to feel like I'm calling anybody out. But I see them. I never met them in my life. So I'm assuming they might be close. Nah, nah, I think one of them was a fucking comedian friend, which I know this is new shit that just started. And then I thought about it. I said, well, shit, my birthday was about seven days ago. I ain't getting no fucking story shout out. I wasn't posted on my man's page. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is my guy. This is my guy. We do a podcast together. I, I love this guy. I didn't know you wanted that. Yeah. And he's out here posting these randos, and I get no posts. Oh, man, I got to call him out on the pod. Oh, <laughs> buddy. In the, future, in the future, buddy, add me to the list. I'm not saying take them off the list. Oh. Throw me. Throw now me I feel like a dick. I honestly, I me. did think about Throw it, but I'm like, you don't, like, you are the guy that says you don't want a, any attention and all yeah. this shit. I, I get you. I get it. I get it. But on my birthday, I, you can throw me a ball. Okay. I'm, okay. I'm okay with it on my birthday. How can I make it up to you? There's no need to make it up to me. I, I told want you to. Serious, but not that serious because I know it's all love and I know what. Listen, like, no I made time. a poor decision, a conscious effort to <laughs> not shout you out because of the fact that you're like, hey, I don't even, I don't want any of this attention y stuff. I would gladly shout you out and post pictures of us with foil on your head. I would love to do that. I'll do it. I'm just going to start randomly posting pictures of you. This is Mike's 
quarter birthday. Happy birthday, buddy. <laughs> hey, yo, my and then in guy, August, I'm going to be birthday. like, this is Mike's half birthday. <laughs> August 13th. Well, Everybody my, celebrate, my, my man. My coworker celebrates all that, quarter, half, and three quarter. That is garbage. <laughs> do they do a birthday month? Uh no, nah, she just only does like her weekend, but she does celebrate all the like quarter, half, quarter. So some, oh maybe that's why she doesn't do a week or a month, and she's like, I, I'm celebrating every <laughs> three months, baby. So, oh my goodness, every three months. Do yeah, we need buddy. to talk about the NBA All Star Game at all? No, not really. Except for the fact that Coach Malone said it's the worst game ever played. And did you hear what Shay said? So right after the game. Shay is sitting there in a full mink, like chinchilla, my dude, like at least a $20,000 jacket. This is in a $20,000 coat. He's sitting there doing a post-game interview. And they asked him, like, yeah, Coach Malone said this is the worst game he ever seen played. Do you know how we can improve it? My guy says with a straight face, you know, monetary incentives is always, always helps. You spoiled rotten bastards. Y'all literally get paid 50 million. You and people of your stature at the top of the food chain are making $50 million a year to play fucking basketball. And you telling me we should pay you more to play hard in the All-Star game? Oh, you shitting me. And Shay, I like you. That was bullshit. <laughs> that was bullshit. That was bullshit, Shay. I don't get what you talk uh, about. If the fifty, if the forty to fifty million ain't enough to get y'all to play one extra game hard, then that because the guys from ninety three, ninety four, Jordan era, Barkley era, go look at one of those All Star games, dude, and they ain't make shit of what y'all made, and they didn't sit out like y'all already sit out. And the yeah, they were, the All Star game was a place to prove your point. It was like that was like the closest you would get to the schoolyard, like who's yeah. the who's the champ, like who really is yeah. the best. And people took their egos on that All Star game court. That was fun. Yeah, man. But you know why it's like that? Get the dream team in your face, like just, just throwing elbows and shit. And you're like, geez, it's man. <laughs> the best players of that era were dogs. They were go getters. They were hungry. They were Kobe of his era. They still play hard to the end. like that comeback game with Iverson and Stefan and them. Like that was they were playing hard. Go watch the highlights of that game. Like they were playing hard. It started off. Everybody starts off a little win, but they started playing hard defense, trying to win. Yeah, the nineties. It was good. In Jordan's era, because the people at the top of the food chain went hard, and so it trickled down. But then you have the pampered prince. He ain't trying to go hard in an all-star game. He's the pampered prince, so he plays soft, and guess what? Everybody from his era falls in line, and that's why these games have turned into what they turned into. Yes, I'm blaming LeBron James because it's his fault. You're the leader of this era. You shouldn't allow this shit to happen. It's on your watch. This is on you, buddy. Sorry, Prince James. Yeah, it's much more silly than it ever used to be. And here's the thing. You could have always bet the over forever on the all-star game. Yeah. And now you're officially dumb. If you do, because yeah, I went, they put it so fucking high. They put it like 300. <laughs> no, it's 365. It was 365. But here's the mm-hmm. thing. The target score is 182. So 182 twice is 364. <laughs> so basically Ooh, it's like, it would ha- no, it would have to be, Literally like a hundred and eighty uh one to like a hundred and eighty four to break even. It's just a, you go under every time. Easy, easy, easy money from here on out if it's if that's the over under. And then it, the more they get beat by, the more under it is. True, makes sense. Because even if it's 181 to 182, 363, buddy. So if you can't bet the over and it's they're still playing silly, the NBA All-Star Game is now the worst All-Star Game that you can have. 
Yeah, but you want to guarantee money on the All-Star Weekend, whoever's the up-and-coming star, you can put them over their points. Like, whoever's the guy who was having a good beginning of the year that's just breaking out of nowhere, like Tatum is this year, going into his MVP type shit, like, whoever that is for the season, these soft dudes are going to make sure that person has a good game. Well, Jason so, Tatum, he was promoting his new shoes at the All-Star Game. He that, is going to be in the All-Star. game, getting the ball, and shooting a lot. Yeah, but also he's the he's the new up and comer entering the superstar status. Right, he's entering superstar status. He got the and so they, NBA All Star MVP. He's going to be the MVP of the NBA Finals this year. He's getting his resume built. Good for he's him. He's not going to be the MVP of the NBA. Finals we went over year, that last week. We don't need to go back uh, into it. Yeah, but stop smoking whatever you're smoking, buddy. Whatever. Mark my words. Maybe that's when we can spit bars at each other. Is if I'm and right. Me, and before. Wrong. And before we get into our stuff that we actually going to talk about per the agenda today, which we're probably well over our time here, but hey, we're going to keep going. Yeah, we're good. Did you did you see what I just sent you on Mookie? Fuck Mookie Betts. Why? What happened? I, I love I love Mookie Betts. I love Mookie Betts. That's my guy. I would have went to bat for Mookie Betts no matter what. But, but I don't well, do it's not no matter what because you're going to say something. <laughs> Yeah, because I don't do stitches. I don't do snitches. Snitches, oh, snitches, snitches. Oh, who did he Mookie snitch on? He stitched on himself in the Red Sox. He just came out and, like, verified the story that the Red Sox was still in signs towards 18. But he makes him sound so dumb because he said we stole him during the playoffs, but we didn't during the World Series. What? Who the fuck's going to believe yeah. that, Mookie? Like, who's the fuck going to believe that? If you're going to admit to it and be a snitch, like just go all the way and then take the heat way. and then be done. Yeah, don't try to sugarcoat it by saying we want. We yeah, that's a pussy ass until... way of doing it. And then no one's fucking gonna believe it anyway. Like who believed that? No one's gonna believe you cheated all the way till oh. you got to the championship, and then we're like, oh, but we're gonna leave the championship up for chance. No, the hell we not. Uh, <laughs> Whatever. Come on, we Mookie, take you're it better in. than that. If you're admitting to a crime, just go for it. Yeah, you either go admit to it and take the time or stand on what you've been standing on all this time because you know you've been standing on all this time. You didn't have to say shit. Leave that in the past. It's 2018. If I'm not mistaken, I look at my wrist today, even though there's no watch here. It's 2023. That was five years ago. You almost had the fucking statue, bro. Like, you, you could have just said no comment or I'm not talking about that kind of crap anymore. You could have brushed it off, but you know. He chose to engage, and he did it in a silly way. Poor Mookie. Sad, sad, sad day for me. Oh, are All you right, watching I'm anything? Gonna... Are you watching anything new? Did you? By the way, <laughs> Love Is January. Blind is only new episodes. You dick! It's not a new season unless you're watching like France or Europe or some shit. You said what? Love Is what Blind. You, you said it was a new season. It's not. I double checked. It's just new episodes. Well, what I haven't seen the season. I can't speak to you. Oh, okay. TV. Did you start yeah, watching I, it? Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty much done with it. And scandalous <laughs> as usual. Okay. It was okay, but it, it it's pretty wild. But let me put you on to a couple of new shows. So, okay. <laughs> they got this show called Gangland. It's okay. Um, I'm probably gonna finish the first season, depending on how that wrap up. I'm gonna watch it. What is it on? Netflix. All this shit is Netflix. I really okay. don't watch other shit. I watch, I watch a lot of Netflix. But they have this new show called Perfect Match, bro. <laughs> so here's my thing with these shows that Nick Lachey keeps coming up with. Shout out to Nick Lachey, because you and your wife have turned and made you all sell some money with all these dating shows, and all y'all do is spin them off of each other. Full circle. Right. He just took <laughs> the boy band cycle and formula and he just plugged it into reality dating shows yeah so they currently have like four or five dating shows on netflix so whatever your contract is with netflix i'm sure you're getting paid a pretty penny shout out to you and your wife y'all smart um so the new show is the perfect match right? <laughs> so they got 10 singles right every night at the end of the night First night is boy. They alternate night. So first night, boys pick a girl. That's a match. You get a bed. You you go up there. You know what I'm saying? And People are what... just chopping on the first night. Just like, hey, we just met. Well, Let's go I... figure this out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, everybody doesn't have sex. I'm not going to say that. But that they sleep in the same room. You know what I'm saying? Like some of the dudes are gentlemen sleep on the couch. Let the girl have the bed. 
but it gets wild <laughs> after the first because every next night, every following night, they're bringing in two new either girls or boys, <laughs> right? So they're just adding people, not taking people away. So they do take people away eventually, but so they bring them in, they let all the people mingle. So now it's seven girls and five boys, and it's the boys' night to pick. So the girl that picked him the night before, he might not pick her to go sleep with tonight, and now she goes home. So this shit turns into like... <laughs> so these motherfuckers start getting catty. Okay, so they stack... <laughs> what, so with the picks, the way they eliminate people is they stack one gender over the other that's picking and whoever doesn't get picked you're out no matter what no comeback no that comebacks. is you're a done. great premise i like that because you're it's done. not it's week to it's day to day it's like sorry you're gone and then it's like whoever stayed is like oh okay i saw how you were fuck you now you're gonna be gone and then it just i can see that being fun yeah oh hilarious bro so then there's a couple that got together like the first week and they were picking each other all the time so like four pick straight but all of these people are from other old shows like Too Hot to Handle The Mole yeah 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 they just uh, recycle the same people that know what's going on they're recycling people so my man had just been one scene. I'm just gonna give you this. So one scene. My my a guy and a girl were selected as the most compatible couple for the week. So they had to go up into like a little room and they pick who the two people that come that are coming in the house, like the next two people come in the house. Why my girl go up there and put herself on a date with her ex boo from her old show? <laughs> <laughs> just to check in, I'm sure. <laughs> And left my man back to the house by him down. So the night after being voted the most compatible, hey, I'm going to tell you, bro. When I say I be in here dying laughing watching this shit, <laughs> like I be dying laughing because my whole thing is like, how do y'all not get into full on fist fights? So if I picked her last night and we slept in the same room and I think we're making a connection. And then to m- two nights from now, when it's the men's turn to pick again, you picked the girl I was with, but me and you are in here talking every day like we're friends. See, that don't act, that don't work for me. I'm sorry, that doesn't work for me. I know it's a game, I know all that, but then we're not, we shouldn't act like we're friends because we're going to compete. Let's full on compete like we all know each other. But if you want to start to try to talk to me and become friendly, and we're going to be friends, then I'm gonna try to I'm gonna start to hold you to those standards. And if you're my friend and you try to holler at my girl, I'll punch you in your face. So. <laughs> with me yeah, it said, seems like it, it seems like it, a lot of people could be cool it's until it's <laughs> like until there's a crossover. Like, well, hey, I like as long as you don't mess with my chick, I don't care. And then it's like, yeah, 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 I'm not going to. And then four days go by, and it's like, well, actually, she picked me, so I, hey, she picked me. It's not my fault. And then it's like, hey, d- hey, hey, <laughs> and then, then it's it not happens. so friendly anymore. He does it once, takes his one girl, then at the getting with her and having a night with her. He's like, uh, I don't really want her. And then comes back and tries to take the new girl. <laughs> hey, yo, I'm telling you, Brendan, just watch the first five episodes and just tell me if you don't think it's hilarious. Okay, I'll me. put perfect match on the you. list. I need something to watch. I need just something to watch. It. It's absolutely, and then I watch a lot of pre-draft. Uh, it's, it's that time of year for me. It's trying to see who's the good guys, who's good, who's going to fit the Cowboys yeah, scheme. Do a lot of scouting in case the Cowboys call. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So I'm on my cowboy scouting mode, and you know the big news recently, right? It's not news. It's just a blurb. <laughs> my man Jerry's getting froggy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Dak may be on the move or replaced, which would be great. So I saw, I saw, uh, what's the dude uh, Watkins that covered cowboy for a long time? He put out a post on his Twitter about two trades that the Cowboys might be supposedly trying to make. First one, uh, number 26, 23 first round pick, no, 24 first round pick, 25 first round pick to go all the way up to three and get Jalen Carter. And then double back and go to five and get CJ Stroud for Dak. I'm like, Seattle doesn't want Dak. If they wanted Dak... Then it makes sense, but I don't think P. Curl wants Dak. They're going to re-sign Geno. Yeah, but you can have Dak for the same amount as Geno. You should take Dak. Dak's better than Geno. Yeah, I agree, but not by much. (laughs) 
yeah, Dak is more consistent than Geno. Yeah, it's 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 far. The the diff the 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 difference in, in I know, gaps. I'm just sorry. trying to shit him Dak, on him a little bit more. Dak, no, that that and that's what I was about to say. Dak's really not that good, but Geno is just that worse bad. than that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that they're about to pay Daniel Jones forty five million dollars is absolutely fucking absurd. That's crazy. I'm I'm straight rolling with Tyrod Taylor if I have to pay Daniel Jones forty five million dollars a year. I'm just I refuse to pay Daniel Jones forty five million. I guarantee you, I know who's gonna be if Daniel Jones signs an extension for forty five million dollars a year. I can pretty much guarantee you he's gonna be the worst quarterback in the league. I can guarantee. Yeah, I would agree with that. You broke up for a little bit here, so I'm gonna talk us through. It. There, there you are. You're coming back. But I agree. Daniel Jones is not worth. He's not worth twenty eight. Daniel Jones sucks. <laughs> he wasn't. He, they were talking about benching him like two weeks into the season, and then he just they went on a run. Oh, but I, I kind of went back into sports. So what are you watching? Um, I still haven't watched Bill Russell's Legend yet, but I'm going to. It's on the list. I'll put it on with the perfect match because that sounds fun. Um, I did watch Sharper. Which is a new movie on Apple TV Plus, blah blah blah. Um, What's it about? It's like a neo noir type con artist movie. Um, so when, so when I first read this, you want to know what I thought that was? What? A biography on Darren Sharper and all that he did. Do you know what Darren <laughs> Sharper? Is? I don't recall everything, but I remember blurbs. In the Yahoo Sports headline section, yo, he was he was out here Bill Cosby and joints. Yeah, <laughs> and he did it for like when the case finally hit the fan. Like they were saying, he had been doing that shit for a while, a long time. Like, he also had some domestic violence charges yeah. in and out when he was in the league, and yeah. So I wasn't exactly sure which direction you were going with that, but yeah. I, yeah, no, so it's I not that. I, it's, to on that. <laughs> I was going to definitely watch that. <laughs> no, I mean that would be more entertaining. This was good, but it was like almost two hours, I think. And like the opening, basically, they just re, they just introduce characters throughout the entire movie until it's over, and then it's like that way you get all the all the angles of all the players, which is fine the way they did it, but literally. The first scene where they introduce like the first two characters, I think it was like 20 to 25 minutes. It should have been five. Like they spent way too long on that. And then out of everybody else, like the next relationship connection that was made and how they string along all these players, they could have cut five minutes out of each of those scenes. If it was an hour and 20 minutes, this movie would have been much, much better because it wasn't as clever as it, posted itself up to be it's like within the first couple minutes you figure out who's who and then as they introduce people it doesn't take but one minute as soon as you figure out who they are in the story it's like oh i know where this is going so you're just following along more than figuring it out but i think they thought they were clever enough to make it like a ooh, this ending's gonna blow your mind and it's like no that's (laughs) <laughs> kind of figure that out right right from jump, man. But still the the con artist type of show or movie, I'm always into those. It's, they just entertain me. Like witty tricks, psychological warfare, that kind of stuff is just... <laughs> I like it. So it was okay. Um, if you don't mind sitting through redundancy... Then it's a good watch, but if it's if long movies are killer for you, then I'd recommend skipping it. <laughs> I'm actually gonna go see. Uh, so I'm gonna watch the perfect match, Bill Russell's Legend, and then I'm gonna go watch a legendary movie tonight, Kingpin. Have you ever seen Kingpin? Has that crossed over to you? I've seen pieces of it. I don't think I've ever sat and watched the whole movie. That's the movie with a uh, what's the boy name? He got the like fake arm and shit. Yeah, Woody Harrelson and Bill Murray yeah. and Randy Quaid. It's a classic. And El so, in honor of Bill Russell, 
and the movie Kingpin. Um, we're going to take a page from last week and this week and just mash it together. And our top five, we'll do top five legends, but not like greatest of all time. Just like legends, like Bill Russell. I don't think it was the greatest of all time, but he's a legend in basketball. Bill Murray. I mean, my, my legends will be all over the place, but go ahead. Yeah, Enjoy exactly. Yours. But So like Bill Murray is a legend. So he's on my top five list. Bill Murray is just, he's a legend as an actor. Is he the best actor of all time? Probably not. I mean, that, that's arguable, but Will Smith is a legendary. Will Smith is a legend. So is he on your list? Yeah. Okay. I'm total legend. Yeah. He is but, actually, I am legend. Like, he has the movie, I am legend. He also Will killed Smith a dog in that movie. Fuck, it's a movie. He, he, dog didn't really die. Let's, everybody calm down. <laughs> mm-hmm. And he's got he's grossed the most money ever. No one's going to tell you Will Smith is the greatest actor ever. Yeah. But he's grossed the most money ever. So guess what? He's a legend in my book. Agreed. I think he's had some legendary <laughs> performances. I love Will Smith. I, he's definitely had, and he's had one. Of, he's uh, one of my best favorite movies of all time, Pursuit of Happiness. Great movie. I've never you seen it seen because I'm scared it. that'll make me too sad when I watch it. You're gonna cry if I you have, if you're in touch if you're at all in touch with your emotional side. You're gonna cry, but it's like a great this. movie. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I keep scrolling over it and like, nope, nope. Nope. I'm sure it'll hit me one day, but it might be when I'm 78. Who knows? Mm. I can stream it in my eyeballs. Okay. Number number two for me. I'll let you. I'll go two. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go That's what I'm saying. I was happy with what we were doing. Uh, Wayne Perry. You may not know who Wayne Perry is, but Wayne Perry is, has is a legend in these streets of where I'm from because he is the greatest. <laughs> Killer of all time from the Washington DC area. If I think you've you mentioned to the, him on here before. <laughs> if you listen, if you listen to Jay Z, you'll see, you'll hear him make a reference to Wayne Perry in one of his songs from back in the day. Everybody knows who Wayne Perry is and what he did for a living. Is shout out to you, the legendary stories I heard about your name, my guy, all still ring out to these days. So, Red, Wayne Perry, legend in my book. I like that. Uh, my, I'm going to go number two. I'm going to go Wade Boggs, Wade Boggs, legendary beer drinker, fried chicken eater, like on the way to games after games, he had the most beers on an airplane ride. I forget what it was, but it was something like incredible, like basically just pounding beers until he landed like in the fifties or something like that. Just a (laughs) legend. And not to mention he was a damn good ball player. Wade Boggs, absolute legend. Wade Boggs, I like the Wade Boggs, even though he played for the pinstripes. I actually was a fan of Wade Boggs. I like the way like he had that knowledge line like type attitude, how he carried himself. Like, he just can't play ball. He j- he was Go just home. there to play baseball and drink beer. And it looks like go. we're all out of beer sometimes at game time. <laughs> they keep it in the dugout, and he's like, I oh, might as well play baseball for the next three and a half hours. Then I'm getting back <laughs> to that beer. <laughs> and then I'll say uh, three – Tracy Morgan is a legend. He's just an absolute legend for everything he's done and for inciting fights to get kicked out of strip clubs so he didn't have to pay the bill. He's a legend. (laughs) He just knows how to party. Legend. I think... I'm going to go with John Daly, bro. John Daly's a legend in my book, man. John Daly did what he wanted, wore what he wanted. John Daly was the last person that they made stop smoking on the golf course. Like, Don Daly would drink beer on the golf course, bro. Like in a tournament, he would win tournaments in while tournament. he was smoking well, cigarettes drinking and, drinking and drinking Coronas beer. with a bowl <laughs> cut. With a, with bowl, a bowl cut. cut. And colorful player pants. Shout out to my man, John Daly, because he is winning the long legend. drive competition every year. <laughs> and then another legend from my area. You know, John Daly story. did bumps on the course for sure. Definitely. John <laughs> Daly is that dude. I'm he just going to be honest. With you. <laughs> John <laughs> Daly is that dude. Okay. He is. John Daly is a dude. And you know why he's a dude? Because he woke up every morning. He told the world, I'm going to be authentically my fucking self. 
and I'm gonna enjoy it, and I'm gonna go play golf, and I'm gonna win tournaments, and I'm gonna beat these dudes that go out here and kiss y'all butt and do everything they do to get in shape and be. I'm not doing that. I'm gonna be myself and be the fat, rotund guy that walks around say here, whatever beer, I want, cigarettes, say what I want, wear what I want, and I'm gonna still kick these dudes ass sometimes, and y'all gonna like it. Yeah, that, he was comfortable getting good. getting top ten finishes because he's like, that's where the money is. It just the yeah. better I do, the more I get. But as long as I'm in the top yeah. ten, I'm getting paid. Okay. I'm getting paid, <laughs> man. Shout out to Dale. And then um, I gotta go. Rayful Edmonds, man. Rayful Edmonds is a legend. Where I'm from, biggest drug dealer ever in this area. From what they say, as a guy, I wasn't live during these times. I definitely wasn't in the streets, but the stories, that's what makes them legendary to me. The legendary stories, the stuff you can hear in the streets now still about his name. It still resonates. Man, still resonate how my man used to come out the house with 100000 and whatever he didn't spend that day. When he got to his door, he just gave it to whoever was out. Like those type of stories, like that. that's legendary to me. Based on how I was raised, where I grew up, stuff like that. So, there's number four for me. Shows on you, buddy. All right, uh, Andre the Giant, legend, legend on every aspect of life. Yeah, and honestly speaking, he should have been the goat, but we know it's all acting. So, yeah. Well, that's what that's why he's a legend. And then I'll Shout round to out Andre. my top five with. Charles Haley, the madman, <laughs> is an absolute legend in the locker room. <laughs> legend. <laughs> legend, my guy. That is a legend right there. Because <laughs> Haley did. He, he's another one who was going to do and say we want, and I'm still going to give him this field. And it was usually and right in your face with a middle finger attached to it. <laughs> Or and his dick on, on your shoulder. Boat. That's also funny. <laughs> and to stay on that same boat, my number five legend is the greatest football player of all time. Mr. Lawrence Taylor himself. Legend. Even though he is a GOAT, he's still a legend. He's all that to me. And his legendary stories ring out always and forever. <laughs> Lawrence Taylor is really that dude. And he was so kind hearted because after he broke Joe's my throat, thighs, his legs, he actually tried to help him. And he told him, hurry up, he called him, like, come on, I fucked him up. Come yeah. get him right now. <laughs> like, you know, you're good when you know when you hurt people. <laughs> it's like, oh, no, no, no. Everybody's like, what happened? You're like, no, I hurt him. Definitely hurt him. <laughs> I heard it. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a good list. Honorable mentions as legends Bill Hicks. Ed Bundy, and Slimer from the Ghostbusters. Absolute legends. Absolute legends, man. Shout out to them. Mike, you're a legend in my heart and my mind. Thank you for... And vice versa, my guy. Thank you for uh, getting your video, and we worked out the tech, and we're back on the mic, and holy shit, we have a podcast, people. So be sure to follow yeah. us. You can follow us at Black Irish Pod. You can follow Mike at Black Irish 213 you can follow me at Brendan McCorkle Comedy. And do us a favor, give us follow, share, do something fun with a click. It helps us reach more places. We've been getting out to all kinds of weird countries lately. It's been fun to see them pop up. Like anytime I post a new episode, I'm like, oh, what happened last week? And it's like it's like the world map is getting more purpley. It's fun. So do something because it helps other people who nor- wouldn't normally see it see it. And thank you very much if you already do or have. Mike, I love you so much, buddy. I'm glad I got to see your face this week. It makes it much more pleasurable on my end and easier to jerk off. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Wrap it up. We got to bring this. We got to bring this. Okay. On that note, on that note everybody go. be good to each other. Peace. Love, you. love y'all. Have a great week. Later.